Hello and welcome to a voice tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to make a voice that kind of sounds like Glamrock Freddy from the new FNAF game. So I'm going to play you a clip of what we're going to get to today using all free software and plugins. Have you ever heard of Among Us, Gregory? So you're either here for the memes or for something more FNAF related. So I, uh, you'll excuse the Among Us reference. There are three key websites that we need to download things from today. So I have them all in the description. There is the program we're going to be using called Audacity. You might have heard of it if you've investigated some free audio stuff before. There is a synth plugin called uh, REZ3, the free version from Z3 Audio Labs, which is free. You can download it with that button. And the Melda Production Free FX Bundle. It says this, but that's just because the upgrade costs money. The uh, there is a free version that comes with 37 different plugins, which I use a fair amount in my uh, video editing and my music. So, what you need to do is download all of your things. I'm not going to show you the full installation. This is what the file will look like when you download the. REZ3, and it'll look the exact same. The one for the M Audio plugins is down here, and it's an application, so you'll need to actually go through an installation process. I'm not going to show you how to do that. I think it's pretty simple. I remember it being pretty easy when I did it, and Audacity, the same thing. It's just like any other application. So I'm going to assume now, at this point, you have all of the things downloaded. So here is where we go. So if you go to your C drive, or if you're on Mac, you just go to your general computer. Um, actually, I'll provide an image on screen of what the path is for Mac. But on Windows, you go to Program Files x86 version, and Audacity, you should see that now. There is a folder called Plugins, and under here are a bunch, the .ny's are the st stock plugins from Audacity itself, and then anything else I've inserted in. So these are already the M-Audio ones, and that's the REZ3 that I've already put in there. So I'm going to pretend that I put the REZ3 in again. If I was to copy it, replace the file. Okay, so for you, you'd put it in there. It'd appear right there. I'm going to skip it. So this time, for the Melda plugins, you need to go to your main drive and into the normal program files this time. VST plugins, Melda production, and then you can see all of these are in different folders. You can copy the folders right over, drag and drop. Again, I'm not going to do them because I already have them. So if you've got all of your things in here, you'll see the folders and you'll see the REZ3 down there. And now we're set up to go onto and move into Audacity. So you can open Audacity and it automatically starts you with a new project. So how about I do that? I start a new project. Great. Now, go up here into the Effect tab and over to Add slash Remove Plugins. In here, it opens up a gigantic list if you're like me and have a couple of other plugins. And for you, once you find the REZ3, this will you, for you, will be, it'll say New right here. What you need to do is just click on it and hit Enable. Or alternatively, you can hit Select All and hit enable because there's quite a few of the M plugins and it would be annoying to go and have to select them all individually. So just hit select all and then enable. Now what will happen is they'll show up along this gigantic line. It might go off your screen because there's a whole lot of plugins. But you can also see the REZ is there. Now, it depends if you have a stereo or mono microphone, but let's just assume you have a mono one. You can go up here, and this is where you choose what microphone you want to use. I'm using uh, something plugged into a Steinberg analog to digital converter, so that's where I'll click. Then I'll go Tracks, Add New, and I'll add a mono track. Actually, that because um, my microphone records in mono. All you have to do now is just hit the record button, and if you speak into the microphone, 
And if you speak into the microphone, you can see that audio will show up. So let's record another <laughs> let's record another meme. Let, let's let's continue along the Among Us trend. I know it will be hard for you to be sus, Gregory, but I know you can do it. If her voice isn't as deep as mine, that shouldn't really be an issue. Because you have this thing called change pitch. Normally, you just need to do about negative one or negative two semitones, and then just hit OK, and try to get it to where Glamrock Freddy is about. So for me, I'm, I don't do any modification. I think mine's pretty close to the, the pitch. All right. Now we get into the effects section of this tutorial. What I want you to do is make sure you have this this first track selected. Copy it with Control C or Command C if you're on Mac and paste it two more times. So I'll just mute these for now. You don't have to use all of these tracks. I'm going to start you with the most simple and we'll keep these on mute. And then if you want to add the more complex ones, that's up to you. So now we go into our effects after we've selected our audio. So make sure you double click, it turns this light blue. And we'll scroll down to our REZ3 plugin. There. If you click down here, go to Factory Presets, and you can scroll through. These are all the presets that they've already created. So click on the They Have Arrived one. And I made some very slight modifications that I don't think actually changed much of anything. So anyways, if you listen back to I your audio, it'll be hard for you to be sus, Gregory, but I know you can do it. It's starting to get there, right? So you can hit apply, and that will do it again and make your audio very quiet, actually. I know it will be hard for you. But if you turn it up using the gain, I know it will be hard for you to be sus, Gregory, but I know you can do it. You can apply this as many times as you want. I recommend only once or twice, and then you can get close. I know it will be hard for you to be sus, Gregory, but I know you can do it. So that's the first step, and that's enough for some of you probably. But if you'd like to keep going, then keep watching the video, and I will show you my extra steps that I've done. So first thing we do with the second audio tract. Into effects, go back up to the top, and we use change pitch. Now what you need to do is go positive three. So just put in a three into the semitones or half steps and okay. Now if we solo this, which means it's only playing this track. I know it will be hard for you to be a kind of Alvin and the Chipmunks, right? But if you listen to Glamorock Freddy's voice very specifically, you can see there's a little bit of a higher pitched version of his voice. So that's where this comes from. The second thing we're going to do is scroll down to the phaser plugin a phaser with a ph that uh, came with our came with our melda plugins now if we listen back to this i know it will be hard for you to be sus it's a little bit wonky but that's kind of what we want i know it will you be can hard for you to be sus gregory but i know you can do it it's mostly some of the time I put the saturation higher. I know it will be hard for you to be sus, Gregory, but I know you can do it. Make sure you have your audio selected and hit apply. Now that's made it quite loud, so over here you can turn the gain down. Now if we listen. I know it will be hard for you to be sus, Gregory. Sounds pretty good. So now if we unclick solo and mute this one again, we can hear the two together. I know it will be hard for you to be sus, Gregory, but I know you can do it. So, we want to turn the second clip down sus, Gregory, if we don't like how loud it is. It. It's supposed to be very subtle. I know it will be hard for you to be sus, Gregory, but I know you can do it. Wonderful. All right, so we are on to our third and final audio track. So, once again, you do have to do a pitch shift change pitch and this time we're doing a negative 12. Now for those of you that are, are curious this is an entire octave down if you don't know music theory. If you listen now it's gonna be very deep. So we want a little bit of that but we also 
don't want it to be too loud and don't want it to be too um, punchy. We want to kind of blip in and out. So now we use the M flanger plugin. You can mess around with the the depth, the width. Put the rate somewhere around five. You'll we'll see what it sounds like when we play it now. So it sounds a little wet. Yeah. So what you can do is hit this die right here, click on it, and it'll change the harmonics, the random harmonics. And normally I want something where the top and the bottom are, are kind of the same. Anyways, if I listen back. It doesn't sound as bad as it was. It doesn't sound as bad as it did before. But if you if that's the case, then just turn up this fundamental here, and I think that might solve the issue. Okay, so it didn't solve the issue. Sorry, I found what my issue was. You just have to have whatever audio you're going to apply it to selected. So just make sure this is selected. If you have to play it again, it unfortunately unselects the stuff. So just, hit, just keep hitting space and you can keep hearing your audio over and over. Anyways, when it sounds like it's kind of popping in and out, Anyways, I think we're ready to apply that. Now that's made it quite loud. This one quite loud again. So we'll turn that down. And negative 12. We'll start from there. Unhit the solo button. And we'll see how it all sounds together. It's going to sound not quite where we want right away. I know it will be hard for you to be sus, Gregory. But I know you can do it. Do you want more of the bass, maybe? I know it will be hard for you to be sus, Gregory. But I know you can do it. It's up to you to decide whether you like what you've done or whether you don't, and then you can balance these with the plus and minus on the gain accordingly. Anyways, once you're done, you can save this as a project by hitting Control or Command S, and you get to name it, and it'll go right into your Audacity files. So you can pick it up next time you open the, op uh, the application. Or you can not save it and, and regret your decisions later on. Anyways, when you want to export this piece of audio, this beautiful piece of audio you've created, file, export, and then I normally choose an mp3 for something like this, but if you want a higher quality file, use a WAV or WAV. Anyways, once you're, actually, let, let me show you how to do that. There's mp3, it's going to ask you the file name again. Quality, normally anywhere between 80 to 128 is good. If you're getting a little too high here, the quality would be a little too high. And you can force export to mono if you just want the one audio file, which is what I'm going to do in this case. You can call it whatever you want. I have some interesting names here already, as you can see. But that's all for today. If you thought this was helpful, trust me that I can come up with some more voice tutorials. So leave a comment down below if you want to see any other characters from games, from movies, from anything else where people uh, create a cool kind of sci-fi voice, let me know. And if you uh, didn't like the video, then uh, you can go on with your day. Goodbye.